today we will see in detail about the uh, foundry value problem and we will uh, solve it using a Laplace equation in two dimension. The aim of uh, my lecture today is to find the uh, solution for Laplace equation in two dimension with foundry condition. Uh, let us uh, take uh, del squared u is equal to zero. In uh, two dimension, it is uh, delta uh, two u uh, over uh, delta x two plus uh, delta two u over delta y two is equal to zero. Now uh, we are separating the variables. That is uh, u x y uh, x comma y is a function of the x and y where exist capital X is a function of X alone and capital Y is function of Y alone. Then uh, the second derivative with respect to X, uh, the second derivative of uh, U with respect to X is uh, X double prime Y because Y is depends only on X. Similarly, the second derivative of U with respect to Y is equal to uh, x because it is uh, we are differentiating with respect to y this will become x y double prime so that means uh, you know uh, t uh, t2 u over tx2 is x double prime uh, y this is equal to x double prime first term is x double prime y the second term is x uh, y double prime which is equal to zero uh, now you come to this uh, diagram which will express and the foundry condition in a simple manner. Uh, let us take this x-axis. Uh, here uh, at the axis y value is 0. So u x, uh, x comma 0 because y is equal to 0. Let us take this is the f. Uh, f of x function f of x is this is a function of x alone because y is equal to 0 you come here here the y value is p so x u x p is equal to uh, this uh, depends on the x only x value varies but where y is constant at p so is equal to g of x then uh, this side if you come this is uh, uh, this uh, distance is a from the origin along the x axis. This is a so u a where a is the x, uh, a y here y varies, uh, whatever may be the y value, the uh, x is uh, constant that is x is equal to a, whatever may be the y uh, at this boundary. This is equal to zero. U, uh, which is a function of a comma y, a is a constant, is equal to zero according to our boundary condition. Here you come over here. Here uh, your x value is zero. Here. Y changes. So u zero, y is equal to zero. These are the boundary condition. So now we will try to solve the problem using these boundary condition. Uh, so now we got this expression x double prime uh, y plus x y double prime is equal to 0. Now you divide this by x y. Uh, then here in the first term y uh, will cancel with this y and here x will cancel with this x. So you will get x double prime uh, over x plus uh, y uh, double prime over y is equal to 0. Now uh, you uh, you remember that the first term is purely depends on x and the second term is purely depends on y. These two are numerator, both numerator and, and the denominator of first term is purely depends on x. The second term purely depends on y. So this can be rewritten as x double prime over x is equal to minus y double prime over y. So this left hand side purely depends on x, right hand side purely depends on y. 
uh, by changing the value of y in the right hand side, nothing will happen to left hand side. Similarly, by changing the x in the left hand side, nothing will happen to uh, y in the uh, right hand side. So it will have uh, common constant. Uh, both will have same value, that is eigenvalue, same eigenvalue function. Uh, this may be uh, plus or minus lab, lambda squared. First we will take uh, plus lambda squared, then from this first term x double prime over x prime, uh, x will become x double prime is equal to uh, plus lambda squared x. If you bring this lambda squared in the left hand side, you will get x uh, double prime minus lambda squared is equal, uh, lambda squared x is equal to 0. Similarly, you take the second one. Minus y double prime uh, divided by y is equal to plus lambda squared. If you bring this minus y uh, to the other side, you will get y double prime is equal to minus lambda squared y. That is y double prime. Uh, if you bring this to left hand side, you will get plus lambda squared y is equal to 0. In similar way, uh, for if uh, lambda squared is uh, having negative sign, that is minus lambda squared, then this will become uh, x double prime plus lambda squared x is equal to 0 and this will become y double prime minus uh, lambda squared y is equal to 0. Uh, for eigenvalue lam minus lambda squared, we just now we got x double prime plus lambda squared x is equal to uh, 0. Uh, which will have a standard solution, x of x, this type of equation resembles the harmonic oscillator uh, problem, right? So this uh, x sub x is equal to a cos lambda x plus b sin lambda x. Solution for this equation. Uh, when x is equal to 0, this must be 0. Because at, uh, one of the boundary condition is when x is equal to 0, whatever may be the y, it will be 0. Because it's, uh, this expression itself is independent of y. So, uh, when x is equal to 0, uh, sin 0, 0, no problem. But what about cos 0 is 1. So, the a must be 0. Uh, similarly, uh, when x is equal to a, uh, this term must be equal to 0. That is, when x is equal to 0, p sin lambda a lambda a is equal to 0. That means lambda a must be n uh, integer uh, multiple of pi. So, uh, I am uh, rewriting this as lambda n uh, which is equal to uh, n pi by a. Uh, so, uh, this uh, lambda n eigenvalue uh, is equal to n pi divided by a. Uh, for all value of L, N, this will go to 0. Uh, because A, A will get cancelled, this will become N pi. Uh, N may be uh, the, uh, plus or minus uh, 1, 2, 3, it will go uh, like this. Uh, so, uh, this will be the solution for one boundary condition. We will find the general solution. Because we have seen the solution only for the X term. Y term we have to find. Uh, for minus lambda squared, this y equation will become, just now we have seen, y double prime minus lambda squared y is equal to 0. For x equation, x double prime plus lambda squared x. Here it is minus. So, uh, general solution for this uh, equation is uh, c cos h hyperbolic cosine uh, lambda y plus d uh, sin hyperbolic uh, lambda y. Here we have n number of solutions, so I am uh, indicating this as yn, which is a function of y. Here c, I am writing as cn, this lambda, lambda n. Uh, then uh, here also lambda n, this is tn. In, uh, you can uh, rewrite this, the total uh, uh, function y which is a function of y is equal to summation over n, yn of uh, y which is equal to this term.
cn cos h uh, lambda n y uh, dn sin h uh, lambda n y so now general solution uh, u x y what is u x y u x y is equal to uh, summation over n uh, the uh, by using variable separable method uh, then uh, y n of y into x and of x. So we are uh, making summation. Uh, this uh, y and of y, summation over y and of y is equal to this square bracket. I have mentioned this, this violet color term that is uh, cn cos h lambda n y uh, plus dn uh, sin h lambda n y. And here uh, we got uh, earlier in the using x equation, this is sin lambda n x of course uh, here you will get one a now uh, we have taken that a normalization constant as one so this will be simply sin lambda n x now uh, we got the general solution e, u which is a function of x y uh, summation over n uh, c n uh, c sub n cos h uh, lambda n y plus T n sin h lambda n y uh, times sin uh, lambda n x. This is the general solution. Now you can see already we have seen uh, along y axis that is this boundary uh, 0 to p and this boundary uh, a to a a here uh, a to sorry this is p here y axis this is p x axis is a. So here to here, uh, which is equal to zero. In both boundary, boundary condition is uh, both are zero, zero. That is a homogeneous equation. Here also zero, here also zero. Uh, now we will see the boundary condition along uh, the y, uh, x axis. Here you can see from zero mm -hmm. to a, uh, the x will change, but y is zero only. From zero to a, it is y will not change, it is zero only, uh, which we are calling as a function f of x, because this x depends only on uh, x, not on y, because y is zero. Similarly, you come here. This is u, x, p. p is a uh, uh, constant here. This height is p. So, uh, there is no change in uh, y here, only x changes. So uh, here we are taking this function as uh, g of x. So now we, you will come back to this expression. You know, hyperbolic cos uh, cosine term, uh, when uh, when y equal to 0, this is 1 cos hyper. Similarly, when uh, y equal to 0, this will be 0. So here you will have Cn times 1, Cn, then this is 0 plus 0, uh, 1 plus 0, 1 only, Cn you have here, Cn, uh, sin, we have seen lambda n is equal to n by by a uh, times this x will come. Uh, by definition, uh, ux0 is equal to f of x, so uh, f of x, f of x is equal to summation over uh, Cn, uh, sin n by by a uh, x from uh, Fourier series we can find this, this cn uh, which is equal to 2 by square root of a which is a normalization constant integral over 0 to a this 0 to a f of x uh, because here the function is f of x uh, sin uh, n by uh, divided by a uh, x Tx. So from Fourier and uh, Fourier series, we can find this uh, coefficient Cn. Then uh, automatically we can find this uh, value. Ux0 uh, we can find. From the general solution, Uxp, this is at the top we have, Ux of p is equal to this uh, general solution. I have replaced y by p here. Here also uh, lambda n uh, y become p, lambda n p. Here also lambda n y become lambda n p. Uh, so uh, this entire term which, uh, which is in uh, square bracket, which I have shown in recta uh, rectangular red color parts, 
I'm going to direct this as a constant uh, a up n. This is a up n because this p is a constant. Remember that uh, lambda n also constant for a particular n. So this is a constant. Uh, that constant I am labeling as a up n. Then u x uh, comma p is equal to g x like this from the boundary condition, which is equal to summation over this term, an, this uh, sign, uh, we know lambda n is equal to n by by a, and this x will be there. Uh, so, uh, g of x is equal to this summation term. From Fourier series, we can find this an by integrating this term, that is, uh, 2 pi by a uh, integral over 0 to a g of x, this left hand side, g of x uh, sin uh, n pi by a x uh, dx. This is from uh, Fourier analysis. So we can find the a n. Uh, so naturally we can find the entire uh, uh, entire series g of x we can find for different n value. So uh, this is a uh, general solution. In uh, next uh, class, we will see the uh, specific boundary condition and specific uh, solution for using Laplace equation. Uh, thank you very much for watching my video and supporting me continuously.